This is Andrew from CEO Apps, and in this tutorial, we're going to make the iPhone vibrate when you press a button. So it's got a blank view controller here. So to start off with, we're just going to grab some buttons. I'm going to make two buttons to make the phone vibrate because there's two different ways you can do it. And I'll explain the difference between the two. So we've got number one and number two. So once that's done, we're just going to head over to the assistant editor. And with the view controller there in the right, we're going to connect those up. So to do that, click on the button, hold down the control key, drag it in here. I'm going to do Vib1 as an action and connect that up. And then we're going to do the same one for the second button, naming it Vib2 as an action connect. Now I've connected that up, go back to the view controller. The first thing you need to do is import audio toolbox. And this is needed to vibrate the iPhone because the code we're going to use is contained in this class. So first of all, we'll do the Viv1 code. And to do that, we do audio services. Play alert sound. And in the brackets, then do system sound ID. Then brackets K system sound ID vibrate. You should see it come up in the menu and bracket brackets. So what this does, it plays a vibrate. So it will vibrate your iPhone, but if your iPhone or iPad or iOS device doesn't support vibration, it will play a sound instead. The second method to do it in VIP2 is almost the same. So we're going to use audio services play, but this time we are going to use play system sound instead of play alert sound. And in here we're going to do system sound ID again. And in brackets, K system sound ID vibrate. Brackets, brackets. And basically the difference with this one is it will vibrate your device, but if your device doesn't sort Port vibration it won't play a sound at all so this one will only vibrate your iPhone iPad or whatever and if it doesn't support vibration then it will do nothing but with this one up here play alert sound if your device doesn't support vibration it will play a sound instead okay so to test it it won't work in the simulator so you need to do it on an actual iOS device. So we're going to use my iPhone and I'll show you what each button does on it. All right, now here's the part where I do a download. Okay, so now we're running the app on my iPhone. We can see here we've got buttons one and two. So we tap button one. I don't know if you can see that or hear that, but my iPhone will be vibrating. And if we tap number two, they both vibrate the iPhone because it's got vibration capabilities. But as per the code, if this device didn't have vibration capabilities, number one would play a sound instead, and number two would just do nothing. Okay, so you can download the completed source code below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.